Hey, hey, y'all. It's your girl, Shay. Welcome back to my channel. Y'all, I'm full of energy today. And I'm going to tell you why. Really, I shouldn't be. Because y'all know I just take, take this whole video and I had lipstick all over my teeth. <laughs> all over my teeth. I said, Lord, I said some good stuff. But I can't put this thing out. And I got lipstick all over my teeth. Okay, anyway. Y'all, I'm high energy today, and I'm coming off a high because my cousin, my beautiful cousin, Miss AKA herself in Tallahassee, Florida, Miss Sharice Bronson Turner, invited me to talk to her mentoring program, Sister to Sister, at Tallahassee Community College, where she is a dean. My family does it, y'all. My family does it, y'all. So she invited me to come and talk to the girls. And well, not girl, some were young ladies, you know, 17 to. 55. Let me tell you something. These women were beautiful. They were receptive. They were loving. They were, um, I mean, paying attention. They were engaged. And when I tell you, ain't nobody got to invite you nowhere, number one. So if somebody invites you, you got to say thank you. Also, number two, ain't nobody got to listen to you. Ain't nobody got to listen to me. But y'all listen, y'all. Now, some of y'all are following me over on Instagram. Thank you for following me over there. Some of y'all are my new subscribers. And I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't take it for granted. And I hope, I hope that um, I'm helping you along your way, along your journey, along your way. Okay, y'all. So, I have no idea what this topic is going to be. I mean, I know what the topic is in the vicinity, but I don't really know what the title was going to be. I just know I'm talking about fashion. I figured out by the time I upload it. All right, y'all. Let's talk. We talking about fashion today. We talking about what you wear. We talking about your vibe. We talking about your energy. That's what we're talking about. All right, so y'all know. Let me tell y'all a little bit about me real quick so I can tell y'all how I'm, I'm sitting here Huh. high fashion honey trying to tell you about fashion let me tell you a little bit about me so i've always loved fashion i always loved clothes and and things like that and, and makeup and hair all that stuff growing up okay so i'm at howard university picture it this is like a golden girls moment picture it me howard university I transferred from Coppin State College. It was a college back then. Lord Jesus, it's now a university. I transferred from Coppin State College to Howard University in Washington, D.C. And I was so happy to be there. But I was supposed to be going to become a physical therapist. Ha ha. Did y'all know that? I was supposed to be going to become a physical therapist. Y'all. Your girl was struggling. Mm -mm. your girl was struggling she was struggling with all that science she was struggling with that math because i ain't the math student i'll tell you that now shayna needs a calculator <laughs> your girl shay l needs a calculator okay so i was like you know i'm in there i'm struggling and i had speech class with this with this um young lady with this with this young lady and she was kind of like me we kind of had the same kind of style you know i'm a baltimore girl she's dc girl you know we kind of had the same kind of style um, and she came in with this like big portfolio of stuff, right? And I was like, oh, what's that? She had pictures. She was like, oh, I'm creating a magazine for my fashion merchandising class. I'm sorry, you're creating what? She was like, yeah, we have to take pictures. And then I like write up with article topics and stuff like that. I said, are you serious? It's like a way, a class that you can actually put fashion and stuff into she was like, yeah, my major. I said, what's your major? She said, fashion, merchandising, and fine arts. Ha! Shayna had a bright idea. Shay L had a bright idea, baby. So I calls. <laughs> I calls down to um my mother, okay? Rest in peace to my mother. <laughs> Susie. So I look, I call, I call my ma. That's why I call my ma. Ma, ma I want to change my major. Because she knew I was struggling. She knew I was struggling. She said, okay, what you want to change your major to? She listening. Now, my mother, so I, I know if y'all don't know me personally, my mother was like, she was compared to like Claire Huxtable um, when I was growing up. People looked at her like that. She she was that type of lady, classy, educated, yet down to earth, smart, witty. She was all of that, right? So I'm like, ma, I want to change my, okay, what do you want to change your major to? I was like, fashion merchandise. <laughs> She will deny this to this day. I believe she hung up on me. Now, my sisters will say, y'all, you exaggerating. You putting yeast on it. Okay, maybe. But all I know is that the conversation ended abruptly. All right? And I was like, Ma, 
she was like, oh no, uh-uh. She said, I'm not sending you down there to that private school for you uh, to be a manager at Macy's. You can be a manager at Macy's now. <sighs> okay. Shout out to managers at Macy's. No, 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 uh, no disrespect there. But it was the fact that she, in her mind, when she's thinking about you going to school, you're going to school to do something that you can't, you're getting a degree to do something that you can't do when you're, um, without a degree. My mother, and I said, ma, but ma, this is really, she said, no, uh-uh. So that was the end of that conversation. Okay. So I went on to continue to do and that's why I got to where I am now and why I love fashion so much and why I love makeup because growing up my parents were very traditional from the south and they really valued education and they really thought of it being only certain careers that you could be in knowing that actors are some of the most educated and fashion these fashion people fashion design they have studied they studied abroad they are highly educated people but my mother didn't know that and actually honestly at that time i didn't know it either so i didn't have anything to plead my case so anyway i go on about my life i go on about my life and i keep it pushing and then eventually i became a social worker y'all know that but I always had a love for fashion. I felt like that was what I should have made it in because I was going to be this buyer of a high-end boutique. <laughs> you could not tell me this, baby. But anyway, that's my fashion story. And I remember just loving and wanting to be glamorous. Shout out to my brother. My brother passed away in 1999. The anniversary of his death was just the other day. And... I can't believe he's been gone this long. But when I think about fashion and growing up and, and, and what I what I wanted, my brother had that. My brother had East Saint Laurent belts. My brother wore high-end stuff. My brother was highbrow. And I loved it. And I loved his style. And I remember back, you know, back in the day, we would wear like these sequin hair brand bands and rhinestone sequin shirts with leggings and high top Reeboks. That was the look. And I remember going out one day and I had on this sequins hairband. And my brother was like, Where are you going? And it was during the day. I said, oh, I'm just going to the mall with my friends. He was like, okay, so you want to be glamorous. So tip number one, stop wearing sequins before five. <laughs> well, my brother can see me now. Well, he is seeing me now. Because he's looking down on, my brother is it. My brother is laughing. He's having a good old time. Because what I, what I was giving out wasn't really what I was, um, you know, living up to i wanted to be glamorous i wanted to be like diane carroll i wanted to be sophisticated and all this stuff but i'm going out with sequence before five anyway that's my fashion history so let's get to it let's go so you can't tell me i ain't an expert in my own right okay <laughs> all right y'all so let's talk i really want to talk about the basics of it because it can get to be a very deep topic but i really want to talk about the basics number one i want you to know your body type in order to dress better, you have to know your body type, okay? And they are the rectangle body type. It's like straight up and down, everything is kind of proportion, shoulders, waist, um, bust, waist, hips, okay? Then you have your pair, which is small at the top, usually really not too big of a bust area. Small waist gets bigger at the bottom, bigger hips, bigger legs. Um, then you have your apple which is invert, which is an inverted triangle. Excuse me. Most of the weight is up at the top. Come down to smaller legs. And then you have an hourglass shape, which is like this. Um, if you all know me in person, I am an hourglass shape. So you can get a feel of what hourglass is. And that's the kind of body type that um, is being celebrated right now. A lot of people are getting surgery and things to have that type of body type. So hourglass body type and then you have the round which is similar to the rectangle but just um a little bit bigger in the way it looks okay so if you all understand it once you understand your body type once you understand that you can move forward second thing undergarments what are you wearing underneath your clothes if you got some spillage and some things going on um, you want to smooth it all out with spanks um, but you you know they have some new garments now where they actually don't smush your butt in like a lot of times with some of the girdles back in the day. remember girdles back in the day they used to smush that butt in like a pancake 
and it used to be like, that don't look right, you know? So now they have ones that keep, they give you like a stocking covering, but they don't smush it down as much as they smush down the tummy area and stuff like that. Um, I don't wear a lot. I normally wear Spanx if I'm going to church, if I'm going for, you know, smooth and stuff. For the most part, I really don't wear a lot of under... Um, supportive garments underneath my clothes i pretty much go you know my own way but some people feel like they feel like they need to wear it every day if that's how you feel live your life if you don't feel like you need to wear it every day you just want to wear it when you're going places or things are fitting and you don't want um you know to have that the, the bumps and, and 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 spillage go for it okay bras a lot of women are wearing the wrong size bra when you're very busty, I know in a lot of stores like Lane Bryan and um, places like that with your plus size girl, they have a lot of bras that have padding in it. I'm like, yo, I'm well endowed. I don't need no padding. These bras changed my life. I wear the Elomi bras and they are sold exclusively at Nordstrom. And I got fitted and they have changed my life. And my mother used to stress the importance of wearing a good bra on me when I was young because I was so busty. So she would she would make sure that I had, and she said, that's one thing. If you don't spend money on anything, you spend money on your undergarments. Your undergarments, very important. <laughs> Underwear, you're not gonna wear things where you can see if you have on like leggings or something and you have on like regular brief panties and you can see lines and stuff like that, you want to try to avoid that. So whatever you, if you're comfortable wearing thongs, if you're comfortable wearing maybe a boy short, maybe lace, seamless panties, if you're not comfortable with any of that, because I, it's, it feels like it gives you too, you're too much, you're too much out, you know, your body's too much out. You kind of want to bring it in and, and be comfortable and be compact um, and look neat. Uh, you can have the seam, buy the seamless panties now. They're very popular. So then it also brings us once you got once you got that foundation, it's like building a house. I don't care what furniture you put in it. <laughs> I don't care how what color you paint it, what what color your door is. You know, it is so nice to see houses with pretty doors, isn't it? Just sour, just sour. But it's nice to see beautiful looking houses. But if the roof is not right, if the structure is not right in the house, it can be a dangerous situation. Okay, so once you have your foundation, then you can build on from there, okay? So I want you to think about buying foundation buildable pieces. What I mean by that, like sweater dresses, um, body suits, um, a faux leather leggings, uh, you know, even a pair of jeans. Something that's functional that you can wear 50 different ways. You know you can wear jeans a million different ways. You can put it on with heels, put it on with boots. You can put it on with butters. You can put them on with Nikes. You know, you can do whatever you want to do with that. Same with a faux leather legging. Um, same with like a sweater dress, a bodysuit. You can put, you know, a long duster cardigan over top. You could put a flannel over top. You could do all of these different things with one piece. That's what you want. And you got to spend money on that. You can get it on sale, but you got to invest in certain pieces that you need to invest in. They all add to how this whole thing is playing out. Y'all with me? Y'all with me? Y'all with me? And then the another thing, the last thing I want to talk about when it comes to fashion is your hair, your nails, your makeup, and your scents. That's fashion too. That is fashion too. That adds to your look. You know, I noticed that when, you know, um, like sometimes I, I'm, I'm wearing wigs right now because I've been doing um, quarantining and stuff and I, I haven't gotten really gotten my nails done. I mean, my hair done. I haven't got my nails done either. I'll talk about that in a second. But like a lot of times I'll wear a top knot or I'll put on a wig. If I wear a top knot, that is my hair. But if I put on a wig, sometimes I put on this wig, which is a little bit more loose. Then sometimes I put on a straight structured wig with my middle part. You know, it just depends on what I'm wearing, what looks best with what I'm wearing. So that stuff adds to it. It adds to it. It adds to your look, okay? And then you want to think about your scents you're wearing. I mean, scents are so inviting. I have never, I have never met people. If, if a person smells good, people remember that. 
They'll describe you. Oh, such and such. You know, she smells, the one that smells good all the time. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? That's a nice thing. I love scents. So play around with that. All of that has everything to do with what you wear and the season that you're in. I talked about this before, before I got on YouTube about the seasons and how you have to switch it up and switch those things up. So, and oh, to the season and fashion, y'all, I have on my brim hat today because I got good news and bad news. Good news is I got this week. Spring is on the way. Bad news is I got to put these up. I love these. These are my favorite types of hats. I wear hats all, all year round. I wear baseball hats. I wear every kind of hat you know. But these are my favorite types and they have to go when spring comes. And my dark vamp lip. I normally don't wear this in the summertime. Oh, don't knock yourself out. Do what you want. So I had to put this on today and I had to put on my little black nails because we ain't going to be able to do that. And y'all know these are press-ons. And it's by this girl. She actually sent me this. And I buy my press-ons from Etsy. And y'all... Follow me on Instagram because I'll be talking about all this fun stuff this week. But this girl sent me a card, a handwritten note said you are loved and appreciated. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Has a little thank you sticker on the back as a Virgo. Gosh, that's the beautiful thing I got all, you know, I, I seen. That's the beautiful thing I seen. Then I got these beautiful flowers. Look at these beautiful flowers. Ah, I got these beautiful flowers in the mail by surprise this week. Isn't that beautiful? It's just like when you give back to others, you'd be surprised how God gives it back to you. You deserve the best out of life. You deserve the best out of life, okay? You deserve the best. And y'all, y'all know what your sense. Oh, real quick, and I got a shout out to my mother. Shout out, my. But my mother was a Chanel number no. five girl. This is the actual bottle. This is the last bottle that she received for Christmas prior to her passing, and she never got a chance to wear it. She never got a chance to wear it, so it's full. So I keep this on my nightstand to honor my mother. But, you know, that's something she wore every day. She had a signature style. You know, we get into that signature style. We get into everything fun. <sighs> anyway, that's all I got to say, y'all. I just want y'all to enjoy fashion for my plus-size girls. My plus-size girls, because they be trying to play us. <laughs> they try to play us, don't they? Don't they try to play us? <sighs> Let me tell you something. You don't have to shop at just Lane, Brian, and Ashley Stewart. Nothing's wrong with those stores, but you don't just have to shop there. You can shop at Nordstrom. I buy a lot of stuff from Nordstrom. Um, and I pretty much just shop anywhere. I shop at Fashion Nova. You know, I'm a high-end but low-end girl, too. I like me some Fashion Nova Curve. You know, I'll buy some pieces from Fashion Nova. All of that kind of stuff. So I think that it's important, plus-size girls, Spend energy, spend energy in finding clothes that fit you well and spend money and time in getting those right undergarments because it's going to make anything look good. But one thing as a as an hourglass, I call myself in in this video, y'all. Anyway, I'm just going to talk. All right, I'm almost finished. But the hour as hour, as an hourglass shape such as myself, I have a lot of weight at the bottom. I have a big bust and a lot of weight at the bottom. So what happens is... I can't wear just any type of leggings. Nope, can't do it because it'll see through. And that ain't what I want. All right. So I spend, I buy shape leggings by Lise. I think I'm pronouncing that right. They sell them at Nordstrom. They are expensive, but they shape you. They 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 hold all of that in and, and gets me right. You know what I mean? So I could put that on and feel confident when I'm out. You know, because it's all about confidence. I don't care what nobody said. You can have the most expensive clothes. You can beat your face to the gauze. You can have your face sitting. It does not matter if you don't have confidence. If you don't feel good about yourself from the inside out, all of this is for naught. Like I said, you can have a house and have a whole bunch of pretty stuff in it. But if you don't have that foundation right, if you don't have... um. The, the the things that really matter, mind, your mind, your body, your spirit, shh, all for nothing. Anyway, I hope.
hope this message has helped you all in some type of way. Y'all know I'm about to go into my spiel. So all week, follow me on Instagram. I'll be talking about fashion. I'll be talking about nails. I'm talking about everything with foundational pieces. We're going to have fun this week. I need to have fun this week. We need to have fun this week. It's important to have fun. That is a part of mental health is having fun, letting go. Okay? I love y'all. I love y'all so much. And all, I'm going to tell you something. All my A1s, I love you. Y'all already know it because I tell you, but still, I love you. All right, y'all. Going into my spiel. I hope this message has inspired you. I hope this message finds you blessed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next video. Love y'all.